we're back at my favorite place, Birdie James. We are here not with Michelle today. Nope. We got a cute guy today. John Taylor is here. And you are the behind the scenes part of this business. Yeah. And for a long time, Michelle and I have been talking about getting you on to chat a little bit about um, what it takes to run a business like this. I think we so often come and we have a ball. We're talking about outreach, we're talking about fashion, we're talking about women's clothing. And there's a lot more, when the cameras go off, we sit, Michelle and I sit right. and chat about what it really takes to make a successful business. And so many times she has praised you and given you so many accolades. Oh. So I think, no, and I, and I really yeah. mean that. So we thought it would kind of be fun to talk a little bit about what your involvement is sure. in this business. Yeah, um, I mean, when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm kind of the numbers guy. So the back end, um, I do a lot of the bookkeeping, accounting, uh, some of the planning and strategy mm -hmm. work. Uh, but it really is a collaboration with Michelle, which is, it's, it's a lot of fun. And to see her uh, kind of be the face and the success in the community uh, is wonderful. And I know she's just been thrilled and had oh. a great time with it. Well, so. one of the things I want to ask you is you talk about strategies. Mm -hmm. When you talk about strategies for um, a business like this, what are we really talking about? Well, a lot of it uh, has to do with um, kind of the, the different product lines that mm -hmm. we're bringing in, which is all Michelle. She's making those decisions, but um, kind of how many different vendors to work with to diversify, okay. uh, when to bring in the merchandise throughout the year based on uh, sales forecast, what we're going to do. Uh, and then a lot of kind of the advertising, marketing, thinking through with Michelle, you know, where is a good targeted effort and time and money spent for us to to get the people in the store that we, you know, we want to help. It's almost like looking at something through different lenses. She's looking at it through one lens, you look oh, at yeah. it through, a through another lens, which is really complimentary. What's your yeah. background? Uh, I'm a trained economist. So oh, oh. Yeah, that's the... Oh, can you come work with me too? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. what is, give me that in real terms. So uh, what I do full time is I help price utility services. So okay. natural gas and electric utilities have to figure out how much to charge different types of customers. So okay. I'm a pricing expert, so I help price out. Uh, utility services. So is that generalizable and then transferable to a business? To some like extent, this? yeah. I mean, the, the, the real big difference is that the utility, of course, has a captive audience. You have ah, to buy true. utility service, okay. and they're regulated. Uh, okay. So it's it's a little different, but some of the understanding of consumer behavior, um, mm -hmm. you know, how they respond to price changes, yeah, it's definitely transferable. Have you been surprised, or what has surprised you about? Um, opening a store. I know one of the, th and the reason, uh, that it's kind of a setup question for me is, one of the things that I've seen you very involved in is the logistics or the arrangement of the physical space. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's uh, you know, like you said, we complement each other. Uh, Michelle sometimes has a difficult time visualizing right. uh, space. So when we've looked at homes before in the past, I'll say, well, we could do this and that. And uh, she doesn't quite see that. Right. So I, you know, I helped with kind of thinking through the build out and how things were uh, going to flow in the store. Uh, she does obviously all the merchandising sure. herself. Um, but yeah, I've been involved on that side of the business, which is a great creative outlet. Well, and, and it's been fun. We've actually visited Michelle and the store during Christmas and during other seasons. Yeah. And oftentimes the response that we get is, this is amazing. And it's, John built this. John did well, this. Well, like the, the Christmas tree, we had a problem. We were trying to figure out how to light the Christmas tree. So I took the battery out of my daughter's uh, power wheels and wired it to the Christmas <laughs> tree so that you know, we would have a beautiful lit Christmas tree in the middle of the store with no trip hazard. Exactly. Right? When in doubt, punt and finesse. It's so true. With different seasons coming as an economist, do you find trends that occur seasonally, or how does that work? Yeah, we definitely, um, we see different uh, types of customers in the store as well as the numbers okay. you know, based on the seasons. Um, the shoulder, what I call the shoulder months, the fall and the spring, okay, are, shoulder months, are, are pretty spring. busy for us. Um, the summer's good, of course, you know, we know the island has a lot of tourists in here. Um, right. But for us, you know, the store seems to be busiest in the in the spring and the fall, and that's also seasonal with the when women want to buy clothes. So. This is true. As an economist, do you look at forecasts moving forward? Not really, because really? no, I don't. No, it's funny because the Michelle and the team always want um, a forecast. They want to know what's the target. What what are we what are we aiming for? 
Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, statistics, uh, which I do professionally, I mean, it's kind of you're kind of guessing. You know, okay. it, it really is a guess, and I don't want to. I don't want to send a signal to them to say the target today is X, and they don't make it, and they don't feel good, and it had nothing to do with their abilities. It had to do with the forecast wasn't right. You know, maybe, maybe the year before it was a beautiful day, right? Um, and this year it's raining, so people are coming in, and we do better than we expected. Well, it's so funny when you talk about that, even psychologically, when we talk about people and we're like sickle, sickle, sickles. Our my philosophy is we don't have a crystal ball. Let's get through today. Let's look at what we can do. Right. And then. Yeah, and feel good about it. Exactly. That's the key. Let's get through the day. Let's feel good about the you know, what we did in the store and how we interacted with our clients and then, you know, the numbers are the numbers. Well, the company culture comes through exactly like that and it's really a lot of fun to talk with you and get a different perspective and we appreciate you joining us here on Girl Talk. We appreciate all of you joining us here today on Girl Talk, especially at Birdie James. Have a great one. Bye-bye.